Hi, welcome back to the Dev Server. Now, I'm trying out the IL-28 for the um, Russian Tech Tree. This is one of the latest jet bombers in the game. It's going to be released in patch 1.43. And, like the Canberra, uh, the B-57, and the Arado, its main intent is to use its jet engines to get across the battlefield quickly and to drop bombs on the opposing players' uh, bases tanks, other ground forces, etc. Now, uh, this plane does not have a cockpit. It says a part of the game assets hasn't been downloaded yet. Now, I have fully updated this to the latest uh, dev server patch that I could, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm assuming that we'll get cockpits for this plane fairly soon. I've, br I've brought 30 minutes of fuel, I'm trying my best to get over this little hill here. Compared to the Canberra and the B-57 and the Urano, the engines are quite large. I'd imagine that means they produce more thrust, and it gives you a higher top speed, which according to the stat card is the case, with a top speed of 865 km an hour for this plane. It'll be a uh, battle rating 6.7, and of course it's a tier 5 because it's a jet. The stat card is up to your left right now, so you can uh, check it out for yourself, you can pause the video if you want to take a closer look at it. It uh, goes to show that it's going to have a 220 RP cost to train it, to unlock it, and then a 610,000, followed by a 170,000 Silver Lion cost to both unlock it and to train your crew to use it. It seems like a very nice plane, and one of the most exciting features, which is why I'm going for this jet bomber first, and not the Canberra or the B-57 Canberra, is for one very important reason. This plane has offensive capabilities. Not only does it have a tail gunner equipped with two 23mm NR-23 cannons, but it's also good on the front, armed with uh, two 23mm NR cannons as well. It's an offensive plane. It can defend itself. It's not useless if you run out of bombs, and you actually stand a chance of helping out your team take out an enemy aircraft. If something is on your tail, you have two 23mm cannons with next to unlimited ammunition to take them out. If you are passing over ground targets and you don't have bombs, you have 23mm cannons to take them out. This is Russia's best bomber right now. This is going to be an amazing aircraft to fly and it's going to be something to contend with if you're trying to take one down. What can I recommend? Don't get behind it, don't get in front of it. Attack from the top, attack from the bottom, attack from the side. Do not slot in behind it thinking you're going to get an easy kill, because you'll get ripped to shreds. Especially players who have a top rated uh, or top tier crew with all the bomber points unlocked to the max, you don't stand much of a chance. Now since this is a jet, at battle rating of 6.7, it can expect to see some other jets. If you're a Russian and you're fighting uh, alternate, alternate, eh, alternative history, I'm, uh, I'm Dutch so some of the English words are hard to pronounce for me, uh, you might see planes such as the P-80, the F-80, the F-84, things like that. Uh, I'm very excited to play this game. Um, uh, by that, I mean the update. I'm excited to see what the cockpit looks like. As a part of the game assets cockpits hasn't been downloaded yet. Wondering if that's going to be fixed and what to expect of that. And uh, we're just going to try to bomb something real quick. So I'm gonna head over to that vehicle as I uh, continue talking. It looks like the crew uh, repair cost, or not the crew repair cost, but the plane repair cost is only 11,000. 11,410 to be precise. That of course may change as stack cards don't always show the true. Uh, statistics of an aircraft, but that's very cheap, and I think they've done this to balance out not only the Canberra and the B-57, but also the Arado, which has a repair cost of around 8000 to 9000 if I remember correctly. This is to push people to actually fly these planes, to fly bombers, because if they put extremely high costs on tier 5 bombers, no one would really fly them, because they don't have the money to. Take a look at these bombs, take out this vehicle done. But once you run out of bombs, like this, 
unlike the other aircraft of tier 5 that are jet bombers, it can defend itself and that is so exciting. I cannot wait to see who I can shoot down in this thing. Not sure if I'm going to make it under the bridge, probably not. No we're not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this preview of the IL-28 and I really enjoy, uh, I really look forward to enjoying flying it in game once the patch goes live. Have a great day and thank you for watching.